Hello everybody, thank you for joining It Matters to This One and CDH Consulting for this dual list setup tutorial. Um, now when you're registering with IM2CO, you have the option to set up a Dwella account which allows for uh, very, very minimal charges. Uh, PayPal takes out a certain percentage, whereas Dwella takes out a small um, flat fee, no matter the size of the donation, very similar to how uh, IM2TO operates. So it's highly recommended that you sign up for a Dwella account. And that's how we're going to progress with the rest of this video, is just kind of walking through step by step uh, how to do it. So you're going to start by going to dwolla.com, www.dwolla.com. And when you get there, you're going to be greeted by this homepage. Now, over on the right side, you'll notice this uh, a couple of boxes. If you already have an account with Dwolla by chance, you can just sign in right here by typing in your email or your phone number. But for most of us, we're going to be using this box right here, which is uh, the sign up box. And now, uh, assuming you are a nonprofit, you'll just check nonprofit. If you're a personal or business, you will obviously follow suit there. But we're going to check out the nonprofit box. And then all it asks for is an email address and just an initial password. Now, don't worry if you make a mistake on the password because it's going to send you a verification email anyways. So I'm just going to put uh, my personal email account in here. And I'm just going to type in a password. And I'm going to agree. Be sure to check this little box that says uh, agreeing to the terms of service. And then I'm just going to create a dual account. Now I've already gone through this step, so it's going to bring me to this screen. But in your case, it will send you a verification email uh, looking very similar to this with a link. So you open up the email in whichever address you send it to, and you will click the link. And then it will say, terrific. And then you just sign in with the same password that you used when you were at the previous screen and then there we have it. Now it's going to ask you for some general information. Uh, it, it's going to ask you for an employee identification number, your name, uh, address, your age, and then it's going to progress here to the phone number phase and you're just going to put in your phone number, which I will do right now. And it's going to send you a text message. Um, it's just a verification code to make sure that you uh, that this is actually you, you know that you're not signing up as somebody else so uh, you can either get an SMS which is a text message or a voice which is they'll leave you a voicemail with the code in it so I'm gonna send my verification code and now I'm gonna just wait for to get a text message on my cell phone which I just did and it gives it's given me my verification code so I'm just gonna type that verbatim into this box right here and then I'm going to submit that code and continue and here's where it's going to ask me for my address. So I'm just going to put in my own address. And my city. And my state, which is Massachusetts. And my zip code. And click continue. It's going to ask you to create a four digit PIN number. This is going to be used for security purposes and sign in purposes and so I will uh, go ahead and do that. I'm just going to make one up right now. I'm going to set my pin and I'm going to continue and now it's going to ask me for my social security number. This is just uh, again as they explained down here uh, just to verify identity. Uh, one of the nice things about Dwell is it is quite secure with when when people are transferring funds and accepting money they want to make sure that that is through a secure platform and Dwolla does a great job of making sure that everything is all set. So I'm just going to type in my social security number and verify my account. And there. And once you've typed in your social security number, you can just simply visit, visit your dashboard. And this is going to be your home screen. This is, it's just going to ask you, this is our licensing agreement that they updated. Um, you can just read through that and click accept and then here is uh, the home screen this is where everything is going to happen so join us for part two of the video to go through the home screen and everything that it encompasses